What's up guys, welcome to another vlog. Today I'm gonna be installing a new short shifter for the 240 and I'm also gonna be going to VEX to get one of my wheels mounted with tires cause um, if you guys didn't know, my Civic has been at home for the past like two weeks because ever since the leader line damaged my tires, one day I was just driving and that shit just popped on me and then uh, yeah, that shit happens. <laughs> With all that being said, let's go ahead and head over to Vex to get the tire mounted. So we just got to Vex and look who is here. What are you doing here? What's up, Randy? I'm fucking <laughs> vlogging here today. What are you doing? I don't care. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm not vlogging right now. Come what's on. up, bro? Hey, welcome to the channel. Hey, what's up, man? All right, let's go ahead and get this wheel and tires out of here. Talk about stretch. Shit. Hey, this is how much I'm stretching, bro. <laughs> Where's Randy at? Damn, show that barrel. Hey, you sure it's your tire, not your wheels? You might want to hit up Sergio to wall your wheels too, bro. <laughs> Boy, yeah. Stupid, fool. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, I'll what? hold that one. Uh huh. You hold this one. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're I'm, I'm already holding this one right here. You know what I'm saying? You need some, <laughs> you need some gangs. Alrighty? Alright, let's see it. Comment down below. If you guys think he's gonna drop the wheel. Get your fake ass wheels out of here! <laughs> I was talking about this one. <laughs> so you gotta find friends that support you even when you're changing tires. You guys ever play with My Little Pony? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Hey, when you're done with these Stand things, around. can I buy them off you? <laughs> Why do you gotta stand it? Because I rode on it. When it when it debeated, I rolled on it, so and it, it might it might fuck up the bead. The tires are on, baby. Last piece. Yeah. Ah, fuck. All right, Randy, land a trick for the subscribers. Hey, bro. Got to do your hair today. Hey! Whatever that's called, that's sick. <laughs> For sure, Jay's all done with the tires. Yup. Alright, boss man. See you later. Thanks, Jay. Just going to blow it out again. Yeah, yeah, it won't. Don't worry. Later, Kevin. Later, subscribers. Whoa, whoa! You better have your shirt. Because I don't. What's up? My exhaust was so loud, his little bones were rattling. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> bro, dead. He got you, bro. He got you. <laughs> Shout out to the guys at Vex. They're always taking care of the boys. Every time we need something, they get it done. If you guys need anything done that is car related, definitely hit them up. So we are finally back from O'Reilly's and let's just say there's no more light out. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh Alright, let's go ahead and switch out the short shifter. So for the short shifter, you just take out this trim right here and it just simply pops off. Boom, boom, and then of course twist off the shift knob. Once you take this off, the whole thing just literally goes off. Ready? One, two and three so once you take everything off the shift boot and the shift knob there's gonna be four bolts that are 10 millimeters that's holding down the whole boot right here and then you'll see the short shifter right there so i'm actually running randy's old old short shifter uh i think it's the isr one but now i finally bought the bnm short shifter and i'm gonna replace it because the other one was pretty worn out and all that stuff so time for an upgrade All right, so all the screws are off. Let's go ahead and take this thing off and see how it goes. Yee! Oh, dang, it's still, oh, whoa. Oh, shit! For some reason, I took off the shift boot and there was hella tranny fluid 
and it dripped all over me and all over my seat but i don't know why that is happening so kevin spill and now i gotta deal with the consequences <laughs> dude that's the weirdest what the <laughs> fuck watch your profanity <laughs> bro that's like a <laughs> it sounds like a dog's crying <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, guys. So good news. I actually called Luke and I asked him about what just happened, and he said it's probably because the last time whoever that filled it, which was me, <laughs> <laughs> um, because I filled it through the top, and technically you're supposed to fill it through the side of the tranny, and yeah, I was I filled it through the top, bro. <laughs> all right. Besides all that fucking BS, there's actually six. 12 millimeter bolts that's holding down this short shifter. One right here, one right here, one right here, one right here, and then two more all the way inside. But what I did was I drilled two holes straight from the top so that I don't have to go on the bottom of the car to take it off. You can see the holes that I'm talking about. If I didn't drill these holes, it'd be so much harder for me to take it off. I didn't really care about drilling it, that's why I went with it, so it saved my life. By a lot. All right, so I know it's a little dark outside and the last vlog that I put out, it was pretty dark too and it was kind of hard to see. Hopefully with the light that I have right here, will help you guys see me better. And you know, ain't nothing to stop me from putting out this vlog Why for you guys. I wanna see your ugly ass face. What the hell did you just say? Dude, if anything, you should put less light <laughs> on your face. I finally got it all off now. I'm about to pull it off. Hopefully no fluid leaks out this time. Alright guys, so after taking it off, one quick little note, uh, may remember to always try your best to scrape off the old gasket. So that's what I'm going to use the RTV to put onto the new uh, short shifter and hopefully seal it all up. I'm going to take a little break right now and hang out with my little friend right here. What's up buddy? I'm stressed, don't talk to me. I'm stressed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have encountered with a problem where there was a ball joint, a plastic piece that was on here. That was supposed to take it out and transfer it to the new one. And we were, we were struggling for like about 20 minutes or so. And then... We found a we, way to take it off. We found a way to take it off. We took it off. But then the thing is that that shit shot somewhere. <laughs> it shot to over here. It bounced off to over there. And then it bounced somewhere else. And now... We're... <sighs> and now we don't know where it is. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Your boy found it after half an hour of search. <gasps> Just kidding, it was only five minutes. <laughs> Thank God, dude. Oh my God. I'm about to give up on life, man. You can sleep tonight, bro. <laughs> dude, this shit has been playing with me, man. They don't want me to sleep. They want me to sleep. They don't want me to sleep. Oh my God, dude. All right, so we were able to get it on. Um, I didn't fully tighten it down because I want the RTV to kind of like dry up and make sure everything is sealed. So I'm just going to leave this here, let it dry overnight, and right now I'm going to go ahead and put the other tire back onto the Civic. It finally looks so much better. Alright guys, it's the day after because yesterday it got way too dark and I wasn't able to do some of the things I wanted to do. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the short shifter after I let the RTV cured for like almost 12 plus hours so let's test it out right now see how it is oh way better than the one i had before oh my god fuck yeah this just made it so much better not only that i got the tires replaced for the civic but i actually got something that will prevent me from deviating ever again let's check it out So this is the Drift Dialects Active Tire Display. What it does is that it tells you how much PSI in each tire because these are Bluetooth and you just, I guess, plug this into the cigarette lighter. So it says to hold the home button until you hear two beeps so you can set how high you want it to be for the PSI. And then later on after that, hold it until you hear three beeps so that you can set the lowest that it'd be. So I finally got it hooked up and looks like my tire pressure are off on, in all four tires. So I'm gonna have to go pump it up and make sure it's all correct. But other than that, I wanna give a shout out to Drift Dialects. If you guys wanna check them out, and if you guys are running stretch tires, definitely check them out, cop one, especially for you guys that are running stretch like us. 
um, it actually helps out a lot. That way you'll never run on a low PSI tire ever again. All right, so that's it for today, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely give it a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. And most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Until next time.